Yo, what's up, what's up, my people? Welcome back to this channel. As you already know, what we do on this channel, whereby we showcase shoes for you, and you know, you can work something out on your own. So today we are making a shoe sander. If you are just viewing for the first time, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification, and don't forget to share as well. Okay, so before we go into details, I've got something for you. In this month of, in this coming month, which is the month of June, we are going to have a big sales starting from June 1 to June 12. So get your money ready. Let's work something else. Let's let, let, let's bring out something big from it. So stay tuned, guys. Yeah, as we already know the first process whereby we place a pattern on our leather and we you know mark out and we then cut it out to, to bring out the design of what we are making. Yeah, it's done here also and but there, there is a difference between this and uh, a, a shoe sander and the one we've been doing, which is which has been low fast or true. The difference here is the, uh, we are drawing out the part, the lining, sorry, and we, mind you, we make use of leather and lining when it comes to uh, cutting out lining for a shoe. And they are not all shoes are required uh, required. But shoes like Brooks, Jesse Boots, Monk Strap, Derby, Oxford, and Shoe Sander requires you cutting out. And again, it also depends on the design of the shoe you are making. As a shoemaker, you need to, you know, you need to be able to, if you see a design, you need to be able to give details of the uh, of the shoe you are going to make. Even if not, you've not done something like that before, when you see a shoe, you, you can tell okay this is and this is what i'm going to use for for the shoe and you know to bring out the exact design of the shoe i'm making okay so back to back to our our, our shoe our, our video so here we are cutting out the leather line so as for us to you know to to be able to join it alongside with our backstay we are making use of backstay also and if you are making uh, shoes like Brooks, uh, shoes that you are going to cut out your, your leather lining, your lining for it, you are going to make use of your front back stay rather. If you are going to cut out a, le a leather lining for your shoe, which is for the back aspect, you are going to, it requires you using a back stay. Okay, so. Yeah, as you can see, we, we cut out our leather lining and we move to the next stage, the next step. Yeah, everything is being set already. All materials we are going to need is being set already. We have a strap, we have a counter, we have a leather lining, we have a vamp and our hopper so we move to the next step which is the first stage uh, yeah as you can see here we have our counter ready and we are also lining our our strap for for the buckle you know and like i said earlier we are making use of back tape and our back tape is, is already prepared so we are lining our strap which we are going to use for the buckle and we then move to the next step. We, okay, we, we, we cut it out. We sew after sewing. We, we trim out the, the the strap and yeah, we are good to go. So as you can see here, our strap is being ready, it's being cut out already and we also have our buckle all, all well and good, we are good to go on that. So here is the sewing aspect, whereby we, we begin to sew our shoe together and that's the major reason, of, that's one important reason 
of shoe. Just be ready to show. You show shoe to shoe. Even in, in slide, you hardly show. Depends on the design anyway. But shoe is the most for you to show. So get get your skills ready on you know how to show and you you be good with that. And again, just you know for for professional standards and everything, your sewing must be neat and smooth. So that's how it works. So we sew our our back still. We added gum to it and okay. So let, let let's move to the to the other part of it. Yeah, we also saw our uh, our leather, the cross skin leather, the the the, uh, the back, which we, in which we are going to uh, apply our counter. So we have that one sold already. We also added gum to it, and to, to onto the next uh, to the next step. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, so it's all well and good, it's all set. So we added our counter. After adding our counter, we, we sew, we added gum. It's just like the normal counter we add to our uh, our loafers. Yeah, so after adding our counter to it, we then sew it together and now we apply gum to to the surface, to, to the back, so that we can apply our, you know, our back stay and our line alongside with it. Yeah, as we all see, uh, this is our. We are we are adding our backstay to it. Yeah, it requires backstay, so that it will be able to you know to lift up the the weight at the back. So that's why we add our backstay to it. That that that's why it requires the a, a backstay and the design itself. So after adding our backstay, we added our line, the one we saw the L, uh, we, we saw earlier, and you know. We, we after after adding our lining, we also take that one for sewing. We, we go ahead to you know to sew, and we also trim out, we trim out for to so as to continue with our with our work, with our business, with our with our deal, with our shoe. So so that's that about that. What do we have next? Yeah, we are done fixing our our, our, our our lining to it. We are done with that. Then we trim out. So after trimming out, we have our upper already. You know the, that that's the upper well, and we also have our vamp. So it's more more or less like uh, a a a, a brooks. Just the design on it. It makes it looks like uh, a brook design. Anyways, so. We added that we we, we we tape our our vamp. It, it requires taping. There there are some uh, shoe sandals whereby you don't you don't need a uh, vamp for it, depending on the design. So that's how it works. We, we tape our vamp. We the normal taping which we all do on our, our loafers. And okay, so after taping, we added gum to it and yeah. Everything about shoe is step by step. Anything about shoe, even slide step one after the other, and 
and you know you get your shit together and you get it done so so that's how it works here We added gum to it, we added gum to our vamp, to the, to the lining aspect, wherever we are going, the, the one which we are going to tape. So after taping, after folding and everything, this is the outcome. And we move on to the next step, which is, we had, excuse me, sorry. We added gum to our, what is it called, to our vamp, to the taped aspect, the tape part. And, you know, we, we also added a little bit of gum, as you can see to the to the upper so so as to be able to stick it together the vamp and the and the upper so we added a little gum to it also and after adding gum to it we we then so we take it for sewing oh okay like like i said earlier when when i was talking about the the, the counter aspect which which is after uh, after adding our back stay and everything and our lining we take it for sewing after sewing we trim it out and we have our comb Okay, so here is it, the vamp and the, the upper. So we, as you can see what we're doing here, we, 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 we join the two together. Then we show. The reason why we join things like this together before sewing it, just for two reasons. So as to hold the shoe as, as one. And the second one is so that when you are sewing, it won't be merry go handing up and down. It won't be dancing up and down, turning on your own. So you get so that's why we have to apply gum to it first time. It's really even okay. It does it does matter if the 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 gum is dry, just a little bit of dryness, not not the normal dry aspect. So you know, since we are going to to sew it, so so as not to be uh, so as to make it stand and to, to keep it firm when right sewing. So that's why we apply them to the aspect where we sew, to, to some more sewing aspect. Okay, so after that, we, we begin to sew. We begin to sew as you can see. So after sewing, let's move on to the next step.
yeah this is the next step which is the punching aspect as you can see as we all know the design we are making it has a logo on it so we, we punch out the 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 area we are applying our logo and we apply logo before lining the reason why the reason why we do this is because so that to give it a neat job and one and secondly so that it won't be you know disturbing the owner of the shoe even if i'm going to be the one to to rock the shoe myself so that you, the, the iron on, on the design won't be disturbing me while rocking my, my my product my shoe so that's why we uh punch like that and we add uh, our, our 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 design our logo yeah we we, we, we added our our set logo to it and here, here we are at our lining stage, our lining process, whereby we're lining up together. After lining, we, we all know the next step, whereby we sew. So after sewing, the lining alongside with the with the uh, with the leather, we, we we trim it out. We, we cut out the the excess part of the the lining. So that's how it works here. So what else? What else? Let's see what we got. Yeah, so as you can see here, uh, this is uh, the process whereby we added just slight gum to our to the area whereby we, we fold our our, uh, our leather so as to be able to pass the strap, which is the buckle aspect, the strap inside it. So we sew, we added just slight gum to it, and uh, and we sew it together. So let's see what, what we've got next. Yeah, and the reason why we are seeing multiple, multiple products or lot of, multiple leather of the design we are making is because we have two of it. We actually uh, did uh, size 43 and size a small size and a big size, which is size 46. So that's why we have it. Uh, we we have a multiple design. So not that uh, it's meant for it, just two for a pair. So so that's it. So and what we're doing here is we're just trying to 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 you know to sense and to 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 measure the the what's it called the area we are going to to how to fix our uh, our strap and our, our and our buckle. So so that's what we what we did in, in that further aspect whereby we, we had to take our, our last and you know to size it a little bit and to know what we are doing. So that's how it works. So that's how it how it goes. So here we are we are applying gum to our uh, to our to to the counter which we added gum. We added backstay at first. So we added just like gum so as to be able to put in uh, our 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 buckle and also our strap. 
so that's what we are doing here so after that after adding that we just you know we saw the aspect we which we joined and we, we move to the next step yeah so here we have it here after sewing on you know, this is the outcome Yeah, so after sewing, uh, we move on to the next stage. Okay, our insole is ready, it's been prepared. And there's a difference between this insole, uh, the, the preparation of this and and that of our shoe. The difference is, as you can see here, uh, the, the lining moves a little bit further to the front than that of our shoe. So, you know, it, it, it's a shoe sander. So, so as it's only the, the front part that, that you, you won't be able to see. So. We, we apply uh, our, our lining to, to, to it, we added it to it to make it reach the front part of the, of the shoe. So here yeah, we have our sizing aspects. This doesn't require a, a, a much sizing because our, our uh, much measuring because our, everything is being cut accordingly. And you no, know, yeah, so we are, we are trying to make uh, our we are trying to perforate we are trying to make all into our strap you know the both cool aspect as we all know so that so that's what we are doing here we are, we are trying to pierce it and we, we we also so so just just follow the process here as you can see yeah we, we are we are done with, with that and this is the next step the next stage our, our insole is, is being knocked alongside with the last and the we added gum also also the the, the leather the shoe we are making we find the necessary part and you know we, we added gum to it also so yeah here, here comes the the lasting stage the the semi last stage of of, of a shoe so this is the lasting process, the lasting stage.
yeah here is the why last thing we we also take our time to you know to add uh, our front stay to it because we, we used a back stay doesn't mean we are not going to use the front stay for it no it doesn't work that way so we added back stay and we added front stay to it because it, it's a shoe shoe sander so that's what we are doing here we added a front stay to it after that we couple it together and our, our, and our shoe is half done we, we not even half done we are, we are we are done with the shoe just to you know after we couple it together we measure our uh, our shoe alongside with the shoe so as to know the normal area we are going to add the gum the area we are going to add the gum so as not to give it a rough edge a rough job and so as not to fight more than you are supposed to fight so that's that's that about that just follow the process and i'm very sure you, be, you, you, you get it if you are really following what we've been showing all along so yeah Yeah, this is what I said earlier, whereby we measure our, our soil alongside with, with, the, with the last and everything, with the, with the shoe rather. So we, we mark out and we apply gum to it. After applying gum, we, we then we gum up together, we clean our shoe. We, we, we do the normal, normal cleaning, whereby we clean and we polish our shoe and we are all well and good, we are set. We are good to do. Our shoe is ready for use. You can put it on native on, and also on on jean. So, more videos coming on how to rock your shoes and everything. So here we have it. Isn't this beautiful? So just do it to like, subscribe, and turn on post notification. Follow us on WhatsApp, Instagram, on Facebook, and also on Google. You can always check us out. And don't forget about the, the promo we, we are having, the discount we are having coming up next month, June 1st to, to, to June 12th. Stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a big one. So thank you, guys. See you guys next video.